My name is Daniel Kibblesmith, and I am the writer of New Warriors Number 1. I got interested in the New Warriors later. I remember seeing them on the shelf when I was a kid, picking up comics in the 90s, and just feeling like they were too cool for me. Like I was intimidated by, you know, Night Thrasher who had a blade coming out of his wrist. You know, Nova was really buff. Uh, they were all the edgy characters uh, for the 90s, as the, as the cover said. New Warriors, I thought, were really interesting characters because they occupy this really cool space. They're forever young, but they've now been around for 30 years. My uh, editors on the, the previous uh, books I'd done, like uh, Loki and Black Panther vs. Deadpool, asked if I'd be interested in doing a New Warriors tie-in that actually poses them as the authority figures in this conflict instead of the rebels, and I really liked the tension of that. So because the new warriors are the authority figures in this story, they have to be mentoring new new warriors who are under 21 and uh, subject to the, the laws uh, that triggered the outlawed event. This new law is making it illegal to be a vigilante under the age of 21. The artist on New Warriors number one is Luciano Vecchio. He designed all of the new New Warriors and gave them costumes that felt as modern as the New Warriors costumes to sort of feel classic and instantly familiar. So the first character that we're introduced to is Trailblazer. She's a group home and foster kid who is volunteering at a senior center when this mysterious threat shows up and Night Thrasher runs to the rescue. And because she helps him, she ends up in the crosshairs with this new outlawed law. And she inherited from her grandfather a magic backpack of divine origin. We picked the name Trailblazer because she's somebody who charges into action. She knows that she can do some good with this you know, mysterious gift that she's been given. Screen Time is a internet kid taken to its sort of logical conclusion. As a youth, he was exposed to his grandfather's experimental internet gas, and that has patched him permanently into the World Wide Web. The word Screen Time is only ever used in a sort of restrictive sense. And because we're doing a story about teenage rebels, uh, a lot of the names are about teens uh, fighting against labels that are put on them. So with screen time, we liked the idea that he has infinite screen time. Snowflake and Safe Space are the twins, and their names are very similar to screen time. It's this idea that these are terms that get thrown around on the internet that they don't see as uh, derogatory to take those words and kind of wear them as badges of honor. Safe Space is kind of a big, burly, sort of stereotypical jock. He can create force fields, but he can only trigger them if he's protecting somebody else. Snowflake is non-binary and goes by they, them. Snowflake has the power to generate individual crystallized snowflake-shaped shurikens. The connotations of the word snowflake in our culture right now are something fragile. And uh, this is a character who is uh, turning it into something sharp. Snowflake is the person who has the more offensive power, and Safe Space is the person who has the more defensive power. The idea was that uh, they would mirror each other and complement each other. E Negative is the goth kid. When he was a baby, he got a rogue life-saving blood transfusion, we assume from Michael Morbius, and now he has a very similar look and very similar vampire powers. B-negative also is obviously a pun. It's a blood type, uh, which is great for a vampire character. And it's also a proud ownership of the idea of having a bad attitude. I want the people who read Our New Warriors to feel all of the excitement that they felt uh, if they read the 90s one. We want it to have big colorful characters, personality clashes, uh, romance, a diverse cast, which is something that the New Warriors titles have always strived to make a priority. Every New Warriors comic has always felt like a reflection of the, the year that it came out. And uh, I don't think we're worried about being dated. I think we're way more interested about it being now.